Today in cannabis news, in Washington, D.C., the Washington State Treasurer meets with U.S. congressional delegates to discuss rising cases of cannabis dispensary robberies in the state. In Florida, a university begins offering courses to assist students in getting started in the cannabis sector. And in Kentucky, a bill for statewide medical cannabis legalization receives approval in the State House of Representatives. It's Monday, March 21st, and this is your Tricombs Morning Buzz. Broadcasting live from the Tricombs.com studios in Southern California, it's time for your Morning Buzz. We bring you late-breaking news that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the cannabis industry. First up, Mike Pellicciotti, the state treasurer of Washington, recently traveled to Washington, D.C. to engage with state congressional delegates in order to aid cannabis retailers amid rising cases of dispensary robberies in the state. Pellicciotti attributed federal substance statutes that prevent financial institutions from working with cannabis retailers in Washington state for the rise in armed robberies at dispensaries. According to Pellicciotti, this forces the majority of cannabis retail operators to work exclusively with cash. The Secure and Fair Enforcement Banking Act has been frequently approved by the U.S. House of Representatives, though the Senate has refused to advance it. Given that Democrats are currently in charge of the Senate, Pellicciotti believes the proposal has a good chance of passing this time. You rob the places where the cash is, said Pellicciotti. These robberies are tragic, but these robberies are also preventable. Next up, a university in the state of Florida is now providing courses to assist students in getting started in the cannabis sector. Students at Florida Atlantic University can take classes on cannabis in health services, agribusiness, legislation and regulation distribution licenses, and more. The half-year curriculum developed in collaboration with cannabis instructors Green Flower are priced at $2,950 per term. The university is also offering a discount for military veterans. Adult-use cannabis is presently prohibited in Florida, whereas medical cannabis is permitted and can be purchased throughout state licensed retailers. Cannabis skills are in demand. The cannabis industry is creating thousands of exciting career opportunities in Florida and nationally, yet a significant shortage of qualified professionals exists, the university said. The university also stated that cannabis was the fastest growing industry in the U.S. job market in 2019. Last up, in Kentucky, House Bill 136, which would allow medical cannabis as a treatment modality for state residents suffering from cancer, chronic nausea, chronic pain, cyclical vomiting, epilepsy, multiple sclerosis, and post-traumatic stress disorder is now being evaluated by the state Senate following passage by the state House of Representatives. The bill was passed with a vote of 59 to 34 in the House. Apart from vaping, the bill would permit medical patients to produce and consume their own cannabis. Just Kentuckians 21 years or older would be allowed to vape medical cannabis, according to the proposal's chief proponent, State Representative Jason Neems. Additionally, an element of the proposal, as per the Legislative Research Committee, would establish four distinct permits to restrict a single individual or business from producing, manufacturing, distributing, and analyzing medical cannabis for quality. The Kentucky All Schedule Prescription Electronic Reporting Database would also be used to monitor prescriptions. That was today's buzz. Thanks for listening. For more cannabis news and insights from industry professionals and a place to discuss these stories and others, visit trichomes.com. And be sure to catch up with all of our other cannabis industry-related podcasts like Hash It Out, Tech and Cannabis, or the International Cannabis Conversation wherever you get your podcasts. For trichomes.com, I'm RJ Baldwin. And I'm Devin Leal. Have a great day.